Hello one and all, my name is Steve, and this is East Origin. This is episode 5. Last time we got a little lost, we eventually worked out where we needed to go. Uh, that was what the Beast Medallion was used for, clearly, so if you didn't find that chest, then you're not going to be getting through this door. Um, we managed to find the way to go, and now we are in this new area. So, hopefully, I mean... Now that we've got fresh eyes, uh, fresh area to explore. Oh, it's a boss fight, I should have guessed. Um, we'll see how this one goes. No demons, no crazy interlopers, just a whole lot of empty space. Okay. Oh, holy shit. Wow. Oh, I have to beat it. Oh, there's some cool battle music. I don't remember this one last time. These attacks seem much easier to dodge. Sorry, I was going a bit quiet there. Um, just trying to get the lay of land here. It appears that... Oh, okay. That one wasn't so easy to dodge. Uh, it just seems to be using two attacks at the moment. This bubble thing, which can be easily avoided by going into a shallower area. And... Oh, he's using... He's mixing it up a bit. Clearly you can avoid that fairly simply. And then it's just this laser I think you've got to be careful of when you're running about like that. This boss fight is going surprisingly well in comparison oh in comparison to the last one, just as I was getting hit. There we go. Let's see. Ah crap. That hits pretty hard too. Oh, what's going on? I'm guessing. Run up the arms. Ah, I see. That is good to know. Uh, once he gets a little tired out, I guess you can just run up his arms and destroy him that way. That's a new attack. Nice flaming fist he's got there. And that attack seems to have real trouble keeping up with you. Oh. Oh, man. Don't know how I'd go about avoiding that. It's like, it seems every time I step on those green things, it just... There we go. He's down again. Every time I step on those green things, I can only walk in that one direction. Which is interesting dynamic. I've not seen that used before. I seem to be a lot better at the game all of a sudden, somehow. <laughs> Run away from the fire. Yeah, this this guy's easy compared to the, uh, the other one. Ow. Okay, we're struggling a bit now. Yeah, I think we're probably going to die, but we've got a good... Yeah, okay. Um, let us try using a slightly different tactic when he's using that sucking attack. Okay, so this is how he starts out. He just alternates between these two. Run away. Go back in for a quick attack for... Okay, he's mixing it up this time. And here we go with the bubbles again. Oh, got hit twice. That's no good. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's get up there quick. 
deal some... No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Let's just spam that up there. That seems to do the most damage. I wonder if you don't get up there in time whether he actually... Oops. That's a hard hitting attack as well, it seems. Oh. Up we go. Halfway there, and he's got about half of our health, so we're fairly even at the moment. He's probably going to step up his game now, though. Which is. So I'm guessing that combination of attacks is so he can actually knock you down and then hit you after with that flaming one, which seems fairly easy to... Oh, okay, still struggling with that one. Perhaps I just need to stay away when he's showing signs of doing that. Ouch, yep. Yeah, I just can't seem to get away quick enough during... Oh, oh brilliant start, well done. Goodness. Oh, cr oh my goodness. Let's just try again. Comes a laser. Problem solved. Crisis averted. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Pro tip: do that. Let's get up here first time now and deal some good damage. Little bit of damage, nothing we can't handle though. Ouch, ouch. Miss me. I wonder if doing that manoeuvre would help me in that situation where you jump after charging up a magic attack. Nope, not happening. Okay, that's the signal that he's doing that move when the camera shifts like that. I didn't take it. I don't think I took any damage from that one, which is good. Oh, again, half and half at the moment. He's going to step up his game. These things are really throwing me off. Those little slugs. There we go. Powering up a bit. Avoid him a little more. Okay. Yep, you missed me on that one. Ooh. Okay, there we go. He got me a little bit there, but I think I've got the advantage now. One more of those and we should have him.
it appears you can slash through those bubbles if you're careful as well, so... Oh, bear that in mind. Those slugs and that laser are a lethal combination. Ouch. Oh, we're getting a bit... Yeah, that, that's the trick to that, in case you guys are wondering. This is damn close to the first we've got so far. No. Oh, man. At least this boss is easier, easier to predict. That is one thing I will say in favour of this boss fight. He seems like he should be a lot harder, but it seems like I'm coping okay, which is goes well in my favour. running involved. Ooh. Oh, I didn't take any damage from that though, that's fine. No damage so far in fact. It's quite difficult to there we go, it's quite difficult to um identify the what dimension those green things are on when they're coming towards you, so bear that in mind if you're playing. Um I had that problem with depth when I was trying to use those platforms before. It's just a bit of a, a weird... I mean, the game looks gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's quite difficult when you've got this sort of weird mix of 3D and 2D. Um, where you seem to be moving... Oh, oh you got me that time, that sod. Okay. Nope, didn't get me. Not happening, buddy. There he goes down again. Come on. Oh, get up there, please. Okay, he's down to about half at the moment. shame that laser attack doesn't actually affect these slugs. That would be quite a neat little trick if you could do that. Didn't even get close that time, buddy. Not happening. Okay, I got a little damage from that one. Perhaps shouldn't have used the boost then, but okay. Let that recharge. Here we go again. Let me guess what's going to happen next. Those people that told me to stay still are going to turn up and say, oh, perhaps you can handle yourself. Stop him in his tracks, we are doing well. Oh, crap. That wasn't a good move, though. No, one more, one more. Let's just stay away from him for long enough this time. So nervous right now. Oh no. Get up. Alright. Uh, 
Nope, didn't get me. Much better. Let's wait for those bubbles to close in and use our whirlwind. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. Ouch. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Get up there. Finish him off. Yes. My goodness, that was a tough battle. That was... It feels like I was having a better time with that than the um, the bat battle, but that was probably because it was my first one. Um, I understand the game a bit better now. And as you can see from that performance, what was that, the fourth try? It's not doing too bad. I'm sure that boss is intended to be a little harder than... How did I survive that? Yar. Okay, let's go back and save because we don't want to end up having to redo that ordeal. Can't afford any divine blessings at the moment, so we will leave them for the moment. I didn't save it where I should have, but oh well. No one's turned up to congratulate us so far. What's going on here, I wonder? This looks like a cutscene area, maybe. The flooded prison. Oh, we could have just saved up here, okay. Okay, that's a nice little change to see of scenery here. So a little fresher more there. Enemies seem to be a little quicker than I'm used to. I don't know what the red glowing signifies. What could that be? Alas. Ah, it's going to be another one of those little jumping puzzles, I bet, there. Um. Let's just pin these guys in the corner. Take a bit of damage we could do with... Oh, this... They can teleport as well, that's interesting. Level up. And that solves the health situation. I was about to say we need to find one of those pots shortly, but we seem to be okay at the moment. These guys we have met before, so that is not an issue. I think the trick with this game really is to keep moving. Um, it sounds obvious, let's not go that way for now. Let's try out this jumping thing over here. It sounds obvious, I know, but um, if you keep moving, then hopefully while you're moving, the attack will have already been focused on where you were previously. And we're over. Getting better at that, if I do say so myself. What is over in this direction? More of these guys. This area is just... I like the way this area is looking so far. It's quite a good looking area. Whoops. That's not what I intended to do. Okay. Doing better. And those slime things seem to have the same effect as the ones during that boss fight. So maybe that boss fight was just to introduce you to it. Let us guess what's going to be in here. Some sort of key, maybe? Duped you. Required silver bracelet. Right, okay. Still haven't rebound my keys. Um... Now able to dash, right, okay. Double left click, hold attack, or key skill. Always dash. Let's try and figure this out. 
There we go. Yes. It's double tap. Um, if you're using the Xbox controller, it is in fact double tap. But of course you can configure it as well to say always do it when... Um, not sure how I'm supposed to do that bit though, I wonder. Was there a button up here? Yeah, there was. I must have just forgotten to press this button. Oh, I see. You're supposed to hit the button and use the dash command to get down there. No, I was nowhere near it at that time. Right. There we go, we've got dash working. Ah, oh, I just missed a platform that time. Struggling. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the combination attack there as well. Of, I think what it wants you to do is this. Yeah, I'm getting closer doing that, but um, it's just a case of making sure it's charged by the time I get down there. And there we go, we're back up. So let us see what this silver necklace is. Was that for the move dash or was that just a a coincidence where to run at height? Yeah, it's just for the move. If we equip that. It doesn't seem to be doing anything different. Maybe I've misunderstood what that was. Oops. Right. Silver bracelet adorned with blue jewel that admit in silver glows. I just wear it to run at high speed. Yeah, that must have just enabled the move dash rather than um, be an equipable item. But good to know. At least we know if it's in your inventory, that's all it does. It unlocks abilities like that. The, um, the thing that unlocked the whirlwind for us earlier on in the game. enemies they don't seem to be difficult but they do seem to take a lot of hits They've just got a bit more health than we used to I like these slimes they don't seem to really put up much of a fight do they just giving up on life We're probably approaching half an hour now that boss battle took up a little bit um, you'll be seeing this episode tomorrow on YouTube. I might try posting it on the Something Awful forums, but um, we shall see whether the quality's decent enough. Don't want to go upsetting anyone over there, really. Plenty of slimes and that button sorted as well. Missed one of those things over here. It's a nice little waterfall. I like the water in this game. It looks very, very cute. Let's say. Hmm. Is that? That might be... Was that a, uh, a meter for... No idea. Right. Oh, I see. It's another one of those timing puzzles, so now we know what to do. Let's head on over there. Nope, stay on. Um, just to be sure, 
One of those numbers. Oh, that guy was a bit of a bugger, wasn't he? Swallowing up there for us. How rude. What are they? Uh, that's like the green stuff that they had on Ghostbusters 2. Stuff that they bring a Statue of Liberty to life with. Whoops, scratch my nose. Oh, everyone pause while I open this chest. Thank you, you can resume trying to kill me now. But let's have a look at what that looks like. Trulium fart. No, it's not it. Level 1 defense mistake. Yep, definitely putting that on. That is far better. I think I'm overusing that windmill move a bit too much, but it's so good when you've got like a, a clusterfuck of enemies around you. Like this. Just plow through them all. And there we go. Have we got a save point coming up, I wonder? These guys seem to be introduced quite... Oh, a new guy. They're fairly easy to dodge, though. There we go. And you can interrupt their attacks as well, by the looks of it. I was just um, hitting the A button there. Sure, if that was really necessary, but it got us over there. Did the trick? Nope, you can just jump in, that's fine. Seem to have taken a lot of mechanics from that last boss and implemented them in the enemies in this area. Yeah, I think that is a sort of breath meter, but it seems to be still going down even if we're not actually under the water, so perhaps we'll learn what that is at a later date. And these guys are a lot better underwater than they were above. Ooh, this guy looks nasty. Looks like that last boss had a baby. Yeah, only getting one... Oh, he's levelling up, it looks like. Is that what's happening? Wow, he is slaughtering us. Right, let us use this to go back to the start of the prison. Okay, ladies and gents, that will be it for this episode. Um, I'll have to see if I can figure out an easy way to deal with that trouble that we've got coming up. Um, if you've got any suggestions for how to do them, uh, how to deal with him and leave them in the comments below uh, that will certainly help me out and I will see you on the next video ta ta